Hi everybody, uh, today I'm tying the soft flats for the bonefish fly. Uh, there are two versions of this fly, a hard and a soft. Um, the soft version is tied with chenille, or vernille, depending on where you find the pattern listed. Um, and the hard version is like vinyl rub. Um, I mean, it's to be to be frank that the, the hard versions essentially a crazy. I mean, absolutely just a crazy Charlie. I think it's stretching a bit to call it a separate pattern. Um, but the soft versions a bit different. So, I'm just starting the size six. Uh, who can move ice? I'm tying a sort of tan pink version today, uh, but you could tie them, you know, olives, brown and yellow, that sort of stuff. Um, change the wing colour um, to suit your location. I've just run on a bed of. Uh, flat waxed anvils and pink. I'm just going to figure it in a set of bead chain eyes. Um, make sure you leave yourself plenty of room. You know, actually I'm going to push it four cent back a bit more. So when you once you've got your eyes figure it on, just a wee dab of, dab of super glue helps secure everything in place, stops them from twisting. Just run another couple of X wraps through there, and then I'm basically ready to tie in my tail, um, which is a mix bunch of pink and pearl crystal flush and I before I tie it I'll make the I'll sort of um, just sort of pull the ends shuffle it up about so that the, the ends are slightly uneven and then I'll tie in my t tail and I'll just tie that material the whole length of the shank Keep the underbody nice and even, and the tail that's sticking out should be about the length of the, you know, just roughly the length of the shank of the hook, maybe slightly more than that. And then just trim away my excess. For the body of this fly, you need we need two strands of. Chenille. I'm using ultra chenille uh, medium, and I'm using pink and tan. Same again. I'll tie this the whole length of the body, so that we get a nice even underbody. You don't want any ugly bumps. So I just wind them together. It's dead easy. To Three, and then I'll let go of the tan, right? And I'll tie off the pink because the pink stops here behind the bead chain. The tan, the tan will not do any do anything. I'll just just ignore that. Trim away my butts, and then bring my thread in front of the bead chain, and then. It's just a quick matter of figure eight, figure of it thing through and around. Make sure you've got everything covered. That's nice. Trim away your excess. So we've now got this um,
Shin Ubordi with the bard sort of tan with the pink barring then a slightly built up pink head so there are the wings made of two colours of calf tail uh, so the under wing in this well it's up to you I'm, I'm making the under wing tan and then the over wing pink um, but you could do it the other way around if you like uh, you know how pink do you like it or how tan do you like it so I've just got a quite a sparse little br bunch of, ta of tan calf tail and I've just got a pinch and loop pull the box back make sure it doesn't creep over the top there Make sure you tie that in nice and tight. Come on and trim away any waste. What you can do, um, just for a wee bit of extra security, I just run a small amount of super glue onto your thread and just come back into those butts there where you've cut it before you cover them up and that just really helps to sort of completely secure everything in place and then just the same again a nice little sort of sparse clump of uh, pink calf tail Oops. sort of hand stacking this, it's a wee bit uneven this stuff right, I'll just trim that to length and again pinch and loop it in and then tighten up just tease that back And come in with your scissors and just trim the butts nice and close. And then I'll do the same with the super glue. Just to make sure that that's well secured. You don't want the wing pulling out when you fish it, you know. But that will go nowhere. Just come in and tidy everything up. And then the last part of the wing is just a wee bit of flash and I've got this um, a couple of strands of pearl crystal flash I mean you could, you could use the same mix as the tail but I'm just going with pink eh, uh, I'm just going with pearl sorry just tie, tie them in fold them back They don't even need trimmed. Then just build up a nice neat head. Come in and whip finish. I always like to throw two whip finishes. And it lets you sort of build up a neat head as well. You know, you can use the tool just to control where the, the thread wraps are lying. And that's it, basically. That's the that's the flats fodder, the soft flats fodder, snow body, flashy tail, and the two tone wing there. Um, tie them twos to eights. You know, just change the change the size of the bead chain or the, the dumbbell, whatever I you, you like and um, you know make the wings thicker thinner, change them um, I'm also going to be tying these in olive with a blue wing for the Yucatan in December um, orange you know 
it's, it's really up to you. It's just a nice wee sort of shrimpy pattern. Um, this is a sort of original tying. You might want to add a couple of rubber legs to it if you were tying it. But I'm just giving you the original dressing. So I hope you liked that. If you did or if you didn't, um, leave a comment below. Let me know what flies you want me to tie. Um, and don't forget to write, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.